welcome back to The Council, episode 5, and final episode. This will be the ending ending to an amazing game. I actually really enjoyed this. It was, uh, it was fascinating. Sophie, pick a spot and lay down. Thank you. You know, when the dog walks around in circles trying to get comfy, you know, she's walking around in circles on my controller because I have my phone in my hand, not my controller because I'm trying to set up the chat. There it is. Okay. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we are not drinking tonight because, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, I don't drink much. That was a lot for me. <sighs> okay. I think I'm all set and ready to go. All right. Episode five. <laughs> And then tomorrow night, we will do some special quests in Fable 3. Just as, you know, the, the quests that you do at the end of the game. And then um, Friday night, we'll play some Spyro! I'm excited for that. I haven't played Spyro since freaking. From now on, whenever a human came out? speaks to you, <laughs> you will be able to read their current thoughts. You take uh, care of getting the lands. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. She, she has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Meanwhile, let us remain on our guard against Pick any the wrong last sister, minute like an surprises. Idiot. I know my brother well. He never prepares for war if he has no chance of winning. Finding out that I'm a demon makes no difference. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. If I'm asking you all these things, it's for your own good, you know. You are keeping up the good work, I see. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. Don't make me mm. your competition, Deriche. You <laughs> are no match. Phone, I'm not home right now. I am not Trust home. yourself. Well, look at it's that, a crypt. already in there. That's lovely. Okay. Why am I standing in there, though? Why is Louis standing in there? What? Never mind. Keep the... the oh! The small salon. My friends, here we all are. We That's are about Start to talking. definitively shelve Lord Mortimer's absurd project regarding Excuse Louisiana. Me. It will only take one of you to oppose it. Louisiana. The vote is to be held shortly, so we must keep our guard up. I'm sure Mortimer's preparing something. Don't worry, Sir Gregory. Nothing can stop us now. Beware, Johan. We mustn't underestimate him. So, I'll ask you to return to your rooms and stay there until the conference. And if one of Mortimer's team comes knocking at your door, no matter what, do not open it under any circumstance. Don't give them the opportunity to manipulate you. Is that clear? Exactly. Understood. Good. Count on me. As you wish. Right. Let us adjourn. Uh, Louis, uh, stay on. A moment, if you would. I need to speak to you. Yes. What can I do for you? I've known my brother for a long time. I'm sure he has a plan. I'd like you to go and see each member of our group and make sure they remain loyal. One thing's for sure. I doubt William will give up without a fight. He'll try something. I'll keep him busy while you check on all of our group. Can I trust you? Of course. If there is a traitor in our group, find out who it is, Louis. Find them, then come back and let me know. I'll deal with them personally. I want a landslide victory. I want to teach William a lesson. I'll go now. Thank you, Louis. See you in a while. I am a Capitan, and I forgot to collect more books. You know, it, it, I forget things. I forget things. You know what? It happens. It happens. I 
I also need to go out and get the Alazif book. I keep hitting the wrong button to do anything. Okay, let's go get the... Well, actually. Um, we'll get the Alazif after I talk to everybody. Because I need to check his room to make sure. <coughs> Von Vulner's room. I guess we'll go this way. Okay, um. He's nuts. Alright. Let's talk to this, this guy. Bonaparte. Oh wait, he's not on our team. So. This is for not. He's not even in here. No need to hurry with Volner. We are certain that he will conceive given the severity of it all. Best surprise him at the last Looks minute. Looks like Volner's opposition is in the line of fire. I don't like the sound of that. Mm. Interesting. Oh, he's in there just chilling. He's just chilling. Just chilling away. Appreciate. You know, I like it when you can talk to your phone and it texts for you when you don't know how to spell something. <laughs> Anyways. Well, hello, monsieur. Monsieur Bonaparte. Leave me. Thank you. Monsieur. Jackass. Bitch. I didn't want to talk to you anyways. Damn. Dismiss me like that. I have to go this way for Volner. Get off the wall. Another question I should ask myself. Fuck! Like an idiot. What's I gonna- oh yeah. Anywho. Alright. <clears throat> Why is his study in such a mess? Looks like Volner's planning something. Uh, well, we already know that. We already know he's planning something. Because the Alazif is in a crate. Alright, Von Vulner, where are you? A chemistry set. That's Ladies. not surprising coming from Von Vulner. No. Oh. Von Vulner. That's a stack of books. If I've ever seen one. Are you barking at me, Sophie? What'd you barking at? Hmm? Do you need to go outside, dog? Do you need to go outside, Sophie? Okay. You know, I forgot to open the doggy door before sitting down, didn't I, Sophie? Yes, I did. I forgot. Shame on me. There you go. Shame on me. All right. I opened the doggy door and you're still staring at me? Seriously? Go outside. 
I do not have to accompany accompany you. As hard as that was to say. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. I got such a pain. Ugh. My bones and muscles ache. I think this weekend we're gonna we're gonna take it easy. Be be super easy on my body this weekend. God knows I've oh, I've stressed it out. Mr. President, would you have a minute to spare? Of course, Louis. What can I do for you? I wanted to make sure that you're still with us. Since Mordor has to convince everyone to follow him to win the vote, well, I expect he'll try bringing you over to his side eventually. I won't lie. William did make a point of speaking to me. And? He has always supported me, Louis. I've been thinking long and hard about this. <laughs> I know I said I would vote for Holm, but I've been reconsidering. I'm sorry, but I won't be of following course. you this time around. Well, of course. At least that's clear. Holmes the one who's going to be delighted about this reversal. I'm sorry for mm -hmm. you. Good luck and see you later at the conference. See you later. Poor Washington, you're following a demon. You have no idea what you're doing, sir. I'm gonna read your letters though. Since My dear George, I'd like to invite you to. Oh, that's his invitation. Ow. Ugh, my ribs hurt today. This is what happens when you stress your body out. Well, I mean, I guess not for everybody considering I have, I have a fucking disability. <laughs> never mind. Just, just never mind. It's okay. Never mind. Your Eminence? Oh, Louis. What can I do for you? Not too nervous about the conference? Even if I add Lord Mortimer's reaction into the equation, I must admit, I don't know how we can lose. It will only take one of us to vote against his project, and the idea will be definitively dropped. <laughs> Knowing Mortimer, I wouldn't be surprised if he still had a few tricks up his sleeve. Hmm. You are thinking about mm. something? Doomed. He knows. He knows I'll be voting for Mortimer, but how? Scoundrel. He's a traitor. Hmm. You don't think Sir Gregory could have been duped at the last minute, do you? Sir Gregory? Certainly not. <laughs> you don't know him very well. If you think he wouldn't have seen a betrayal, I can assure you there is nothing to be worried about, my friend. Fine. Mm -hmm. You're probably right. Don't worry. We shall win the vote. You'll see. Is uh -huh. there anything else you wanted to speak to me about? No. That's no. all. I'll be leaving now. I'll see you later, my you son. traitor. Man of the cloth against his own word. That's actually pretty sad. Where the hell is Von Volner? Hmm? That's George Washington's room. Well, and there's nowhere to be seen. He's not in his room. Interesting. Wait a minute. Let's just check, shall we? Oh, I feel like my back has to be popped. Oh, it's the most annoying feeling. This is not the room I wanted to enter. <laughs> that's that's Wilner's room. I wanted uh, 
I wanted to look into Peru's room. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. This is Peru's room. Ugh, I think I'll sleep like a baby tonight. Alright. Actually, I need to get me some Dear Mr. more Pepe. stuff. Alright, I've okay. retrieved everything. Ah, book. See that bullshit? <laughs> Alright, so... Von Wulner is not here. Uh, oh wait, that's not a balcony. Ow. Oh, my muscles. They just feel like attacking me tonight. That's lovely. I don't have anything to unlock that. Let's see. Well, let's go search for Von Von, shall we? Uh. Oh, and Godoy. My bad. We'll go talk to Godoy after I find Volner. Little scoundrels here somewhere. Did I go into the right lounge? Yeah, good question. Ah, Louis. Come closer. Ah. I'm warming myself up. I was unfortunate enough to step outside and now I'm freezing. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what he's been doing outside. Something to do with what home asked of him, maybe. So, I never... tell me, good friend. <laughs> what can I do for you? And this is the scumbag that tried to poison me. When Sir Gregory has tasked me with making sure that all his allies don't change their minds over the conference. I've heard that someone's going to try and blackmail you into changing your mind. Oh, that... ho, ho, ho. you amuse me, Deliche. They could always try. They will be made welcome. So you think that there's no way that they can blackmail you then? Right. At first, this was amusing. Now it's becoming ridiculous, Louis. Just let them try. Come now. Stop wasting my time. I have things I need to do. Hmm. Interesting. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. He didn't even give me a chance to even ask him. No. I guess General Godoy is next. And then we'll uh, go get the book. Alright, Godoy. Let's Duke see. Manuel Godoy. Yep. I completely missed it. So, so far, Piaggi and Washington are betraying us. Volner, I'm not totally sure. We'll see. I haven't been in this room yet. Any books? No? Don Quixote. Talking without thinking is like shooting without taking aim. Hmm. You have to think about that one. <laughs> of 
course he has a picture of himself. Check his balcony for anything. No? I can't check the balcony? Seriously? It's some BS. That's not Godoy. Oh yes, it is. Excuse me, I was expecting oh, someone else. His robes Mr. Look like Piaggi's Do you for a have second. a moment? Your timing's awkward, Dorishi. I'm expecting someone. I haven't time. Please leave me. Very well. I won't insist. Hmm. Looks like he only wants to speak to Bonaparte. I know what I have to do if I want to speak to him. Oh, Bonaparte. Well then. Come on, Sophia Pop. Come on. Come on. What are you waiting for? Mrs. Blind Bat, get up here. There you go. Good job. Lay down. There you go. Need a haircut and a bath. All right. Excuse me while I steal first. Oh, it was just the painting. Although, <laughs> okay. Anyhow. Monsieur Bonaparte. Louis, do you want something? Yes. Yes. For you detest the Duke's loyalty, since he'll only speak to you. Well. Whatever it is, I haven't the time. The conference will shortly begin, and I want to be focused. Uh, sorry. Come back and see me afterwards. I see I haven't much choice. Seeing as Godoy will only talk to Bonaparte, and Bonaparte will talk to no one, I have no other choice but to borrow his body. Nothing personal here, mm -hmm. Napoleon. Look, I'm sorry. This conference is of utmost importance to me, and I should like to be prepared for it. Concentrate, Louis. You don't mind if I sit down, do you? I don't want to fall flat on my face when my spirit passes inside you. No, I don't think you've understood, Derichet. Link into his thoughts, Louis. Come on. I said I did not want to be disturbed. That's it. I sense something. What word in leave me alone do you not understand? Come on, just keep going. <laughs> All of it. Get inside his mind. <laughs> now. Too bad for you. You can't say that I haven't. Thank you very much for the loan of this body, monsieur. Right. Let's not waste any more time, Louis. Godoy is waiting. Mm-hmm. Ah, there you are at last, Bonaparte. My lord, Duke. with a typically French attitude. Come. You Let's are not... 20 minutes late, without the least excuse. I am risking a lot, monsieur. You seem to forget. Uh, please excuse me. Well, what did you want to see me about? Hmm. So, let's see whose side he's really on. I wanted to be sure. You are still going to vote for Mortimer, as planned, yes? Mortimer? What the devil are you talking about, Bonaparte? I am on Holmes' side, and I intend to vote against Mortimer's project. What on earth is wrong with him? Ah. He seems very odd. Mm. Come now, my Lord Duke. You can't fool. We both know that you will follow Lord Mortimer when it comes to the vote. My young friend, I do not know what's wrong with you, but you are out of your mind. I came here upon Sir Gregory's invitation, and I intend to bury this ludicrous idea of selling Louisiana. Oopsies. You see, there is no reason to think that I could ever side with Mortimer. Oh, that's a pity. He was going to make you an offer. What are you talking about? Make yourself clear. I do not understand you. Come on, my Lord Duke. We both know very well what we are talking about. I thank you for not wasting my time. I never dreamed of it, monsieur. I have a fair idea as to your presence here, but for some reason, something doesn't seem quite right. I, I am somewhat lost, to tell the truth. And this just isn't like you. I wonder if... It really is you, in fact. What? 
You're just fishing around because you're the one who's changed sides. What? What on earth are you talking about? You're working for Holm. Admit it. No, I'm not. Don't be ridiculous. He's asked you to flush out the traitors in his team, hasn't he? Of course he hasn't. Admit it. I'm sure he's lying. I cannot make out what it is, but something is very wrong here. I will not fall into a trap. Come, Godoy. You're getting yourself in a muddle with all your speculating. The only true patron of France is, and always has been, Lord Mortimer. I know, but something doesn't feel right, and I cannot put my finger on it. But let's assume, mm. if you are really working for Mortimer, why did he task you to question me like this? Lord Mortimer trusts you, my Lord Duke. But with all that's been going on, I admit he needs to feel supported. And as you're a man of great qualities, in his opinion, he simply wanted to make sure that you will still support him. Ah, now I understand. Listen, I'll take your word for it, but tell Mortimer that he's making me run too great a risk. I already gave him my approval, and we agreed not to speak about it on the island. Just mm. imagine for a minute if Holm had caught us. You might not know what he is capable of, but I certainly do. It would be the end of me. The bastard. He really is a traitor. Uh, please excuse me, Duke Manuel, but that wasn't the intention. I shall go and reassure Lord Mortimer about the vault, and uh, I promise to avoid you running any more risks. I hope so. Now please, leave me. We must not be seen together. Interesting. Very interesting. Not good. Not good at all. Now we shall go get the Alazif. It's time to get going. way down to the docks. I thought that was going to take longer. <laughs> Thank you. If there's one thing I will never understand is why they gave him such a pointy chin. Yes! Yes! I, at last, I found it! Alzif! Well, you gotta admit, you did give us a run for our money. Huh? What? A page has been torn out. Uh oh. Oh, I can't check. I can see it's unopened. No one seems to have used mm. any. All right, now we go back to home. Ooh, excuse me, sorry. Home. Jeez. This way, that way. This way, that way. I think I went into the wrong one.
Yes, I went to the wrong one. Wrong door. They're all traitors. <clears throat> Although I'm not sure about Von Volner. I, d I don't know. I'm not 100% uh, on that one. Book! Okay, sorry. Is that a book? No, it's just a read. Okay. Ah, Louis! I, uh was getting impatient. So, tell me, have you been able to speak to everyone? Absolutely. And? Did you find a... a traitor in our midst? Any news of Piaggi? Traitor. If I were you, I wouldn't count on Cardinal Piaggi. The scoundrel! I've given him everything, and this is how he thanks me. I wouldn't be surprised if he and my father have been close allies for a long time. He'll get what's coming to him. And President Washington. Can we count on him? Unfortunately, Traitor. President Washington has changed sides. <sighs> I must admit it comes as no surprise. My brother has always followed him, and I was expecting this reversal. What's your opinion of Duke hmm. Manuel? Duke Traitor. Manuel won't be supporting us. How dare he! If it weren't for me, he wouldn't be where he is today. I had to trick him in order to make sure. I passed inside Napoleon so that he would talk to me. Congratulations, Louis. I see you're not one to stop at half measures. I pretended that I was <laughs> only checking he was still working for Mortimer. And he confessed? He was suspicious right to the end, but yes, he ended up giving himself away and conceded he was working for your brother. The scoundrel! And Von Volner? What's your feeling about him? He's on your side. However, it seems that Mortimer feels certain he can get him to change his mind. You mean blackmail him? That's impossible. I don't know, but I thought it wise to warn you. Yes. I see. Thank you, Louis, for all this information. I only hope what you say is right. The consequences could be horrific. That is what we are likely to see. William has moved his pieces. If that's how it is, it's my turn now. What are you going to do? Show dun, dun, him that I'm not going to be outdone. Prepare yourself. It won't be long before the conference begins. There's just enough time to briefly go over it once more with my guests. Let us meet in the conference room when the time comes. We'll have to run all the way back to my bedroom. So, do we agree? Agree. Okay. Let's return to our places now. You're right. Hmm. Uh oh. What were they talking about? Louis, a I moment wish of I could your time. Play yes, monsieur. What can Indigo I do for you? Prophecy. I would like you to hear me out without interrupting. It's in your interest. You are in a perilous that was situation, such a good game. and I want to avoid you becoming a laughing stock. That's very kind of you. In actual fact, all of Sir Gregory's <laughs> team is working for Mortimer. If you vote for Holm, Mortimer will never forgive you. And I can assure you that he has taken down far tougher than you. Are you threatening me? Not me, Louis. Yes, but he you is. are the only one who hasn't turned against Sir Gregory. Join us. Vote with us if you do not want to feel the wrath of Mortimer alone. Is that all? That's all, yes. I just wanted to warn you. Now you are free to vote where your conscience leads you. Good luck. So, he's mm -hmm. the one who's been persuading them all to turn back. I just gotta hope exactly. that he's managed to pull off his conjuring trick. Otherwise, Bonaparte's right. I'll be the only one voting against Mortimer, and therefore, the only one to face the consequences. Mm -hmm. My friends, here we are at last, gathered together to close this conference. I would first of all like to thank you all for making the time to be here and lend your services. Gregory, I, I believe I may speak for both of us when I say that we are honored by your presence here. You, you are perfectly right to do so, William. Thank you for putting your faith in us and for coming here to participate in this conference. Thank you for helping us to make the best decisions 
And I especially want to thank you, William, for, for perfectly hosting us at your home during these past several days. I'm not sure all the guests would agree to that. In any case, mm -hmm. home doesn't seem to be himself. Duchess Hillsborough will also not be voting. The poor woman has suffered a lot of upheaval lately. As she was feeling quite poorly, <laughs> she She's apologizes. Dead. But she preferred to return to the continent. The Duchess? I hope it's nothing serious. Don't worry, Mr. President. I had someone escort her. The Duchess simply needs rest, and now she is in good hands. Liars. I must say, Sir Gregory, you Liar. are beset by bad luck. Indeed. One would think that I am hounded by ill fortune. Good. I think we can begin. You will vote in turn on the question <laughs> that interests us today. Are you for or against the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France? Duke Manuel? Four. Your Eminence? Four. But I... Gregory, please. Monsieur Napoleon? Four. Mr. Von Volmer? Four. What? Gregory, please refrain from interrupting the voting. You know the rules, brother. President Washington? Four. Finally, Monsieur de Richet. What is your vote? My turn. Sorry. I vote against. The votes are now cast. So you were not won over by my project. Hmm. That hurts. I... I warned you. You did... You didn't want to... Listen to me. Never mind. It will still come to pass. Traitor! What have you done? You are... You are obliged to respect your... Your word. That is the... The... The rule! The time of conferences is over, dear brother. Let us abandon all this charade. You don't... Have... The... Right! What have you... Done to me? What have I done? Nothing, Gregory. You did it yourself. A word of advice. In the future, oh, that is, if you have one, don't drink someone else's cup of tea without checking what's in it. Father, what happened? Sir Gregory, what's the matter? William, what have you done? Not now. <laughs> oh. You... You are mad, William! I will... will, will punish you for, for this! He will probably try, unless I get to him first. But I cannot die! No, you cannot die. You are, however, losing all sense of reason, as well as all your special abilities. What? Hmm. What? I drink! Can't you guess? There are but few things that can have such an effect on such as we. You would know that if you ever ventured even a little way off of Father's beaten track. I... Revenge! Oh, no, my dear Gregory. You will not be taking any revenge. You will die stupidly, alone. Enclosed in that rather withered body. Help. Help me. After several Help. centuries of near absolute power, here you find yourself on your hands and knees, hoping in vain that someone is going to help you. Tell me, what does that feel like? Never happened to me. Can't be good. You cannot leave your body, you cannot project yourself elsewhere. You cannot even contact father. Go ahead. Try. But you are my brother. So I ask you to remember that all this is your own fault. And I want you to understand I get absolutely no pleasure out of it. Well, very little. Mm -hmm. Swine! A new order is born today, brother. Enough of father's hegemony. After all these years of servitude, I can finally stand up and oppose it. You chose to serve him, whatever his excesses. 
Now it's up to you to face the consequences of that choice. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> I am stronger than, than you. Interesting. Ooh, no fails. Thank God. Am I dreaming or? Louis, it's me, Gregory. Listen, we don't have much time. But where are we? Louis, I brought us here. You must act swiftly. I can't hold out for long. William has poisoned me. He must have used the blood of a former demon. I am no longer able to enter the body of someone else. The poison is gnawing away me from the inside. I, I'm going to die, Louis. But where are we? In the ether. What you see is not real. It's only a mental projection created by my spirit. I'm occupying William's spirit at the moment, but I'm not going to be able to keep it up forever. Join me, Louis. Otherwise, all will be lost. Yes. Yes, I'll join you. Find a way. Hurry. I must find them quickly. I wish I would have found the other books. Beneath your compassion, we take refuge, O Mother of God. Mm. Emma? What on earth? We only wanted to play. We... we didn't mean any harm. She sounds like a little girl talking. It's me, Louie. Oh, I know someone called Louie, but he abandoned me too. What on earth is wrong with her? It seems like her spirit has regressed. What are you doing here? I was playing. Everything is fine. Emma, don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. You'll see. I'm here now. Dry your tears. You aren't going to abandon me? No, don't worry. You're not alone. Thank you, sir. Tell me now. What happened with Emily? We had a fight. She was always wanting me to hide, I think. But I don't want to play at hide and seek anymore. Do you know why she always wanted to keep on playing? The one who wins becomes the princess. And it's never me who wins. But I want to be a princess too. Okay. Okay. And you like playing with your sister? Of course. She's my sister. And do you love your sister? Yes, but sometimes she gets on my nerves. But you wouldn't want her not to play with you anymore, would you? Of course not. It would be good if you could both play at being a princess together, at the same time, wouldn't it? Together? Yes. Each with your own stories. Oh. Yes, that would be good. And we would have extraordinary adventures and we could speak about them together and, and, and I miss her so much. Emma, is that you? It's all your fault. If you and your mother hadn't come here, all this would never have happened. You're all the same. You're the one, Louis. You're the one who assassinated me. You should be proud of yourself. You finished what your mother started. Emma, don't be like- Leave me alone, I don't need you. Don't take it like- Leave me, leave me alone. Hmm. Scum, bastards, I'll get you back. 
You've all manipulated me. I'll make you all pay. Mm hmm What am I doing here now? N nothing seems real. You're nothing but a coward. What a bunch of amuses you are. Please, keep calm. What on earth is going on here? I hmm. don't understand a thing. <laughs> Louis, don't waste any time. Appease them. My thoughts are becoming confused. Help me. Be quick. Yes, not a minute to lose. Won't let him attack his brother. That's not really Elizabeth. It's another demon who wants to protect home from Mortimer. On a symbolic level, he should be placed between the two of them. to defend me yes but will they make it in time I think Stay with me, Louis. We must take Alazif back from him. God damn it. I don't understand a thing. I'm doomed. That's definitely Emily. I have to protect my sister. Help me, Louis. Oh no. That's um okay, never mind. They're backwards. That wasn't too bad. Looks like I've succeeded. They've all disappeared. Louis, it's worked. But don't waste any time. Yes, I'm coming. At least, as soon as I found the exit. Is there another ghost here to talk to? Just, just wondering. Kinda creepy. Just wondering. Okay. I don't see any more ghosts. Technically, they're not ghost ghosts maybe possibly i don't know oh oh i know whose room this is emily emily louis louis who on earth is louis where are you i can't see you in front of you emily she can't see me louis are you dead too it's complicated i thought emma killed you oh yes that's right she still doesn't know everything i found out I feel responsible for what happened to you, Emily. I made a mistake. I've been thinking it over. No one forced her, Louis. She would have ended up doing it in another place another time, but she still would have done it. But I thought, how is it that you are here? Can you move around? I'm going to have to be a bit blunt here, Emily. You'll have to excuse me, but it's quite baffling. Mortimer and Holm are age-old spirits who can change bodies. I... Yes. What? Quite baffling. Louis, are you feeling all right? And I am one too. Louis, you don't seem very well at all. <sighs> because William Mortimer is my father, and he's yours too. Yours and Emma's. <sighs> he's... They're my sisters. bestowed certain powers on me, like 
how to read a human mind, and even how to Which control. Which is why we didn't it. sleep Look, with them. I know it. It's a lot why to take in. Why we said no. Are you all right? Yes. Because there are sisters. Actually, we no. Don't sleep with how our do you sisters? expect me to feel? <laughs> it would be easier if you told me you'd simply lost your mind, or even that I've lost my mind, which would at least make some sense. If only something inside me didn't vibrate at the sound of your words. I'm not making it up, Emily. You've got to believe me. And where are we then? In the ether, I think. Think of it as a psychic dimension. Oh, well, that explains it then. Do you have any more bedtime stories like that? Well, you are dead. Yes, of course I am. <laughs> I should have known. Ask a stupid question. Yes, I know, Emily. It's, mm -hmm. it's hard to believe, but even if it seems insane, I, I assure you that it's all true. We are dead, and we're talking in the ether. Excuse me, sorry. Well, not exactly. Not you see, I'm not dead. What? But if you are here without being dead, then there must be a way out. Help me, Louis. I am begging you, help me. I'd, I'd rather be honest, Emily. I'm not going to make any false promises here. But, Louis, please. I'm sorry. You can say that because you're not the one who's stuck here. Adieu, Emily. Adieu. No! No, don't abandon me, Louis! Louis, help! Don't leave me! Louis! Well, that makes me Louis, feel like an ass. Come back! I must be quick. My memories! I, I'm losing my sight. Louis? Are you there? Yes. Yes, I'm here. Pick up the thread of my thoughts, Louis. Of my memories. Make haste! Over here. The crypts are still here. Oh. What is this? Elizabeth? But I saw Whoa. your body. You're dead. Gregory? No. No, you are not Gregory. Something's not right. Gregory, you are in danger. Elizabeth, what's the matter? Who are you? Uh, uh, my name is Louis de Richet. William Alexander Mortimer's son. William. Uh, ah, I see. What's happening here? My son is in danger. Talk. Uh, let's try to find out who I'm speaking to. Is the voice that Elizabeth keep hearing? I'm one of the guests of the conference, an ally of Sir Gregory. You are telling the truth. Is the conference over? Yes. Sir Gregory won the vote, but it seems that Lord Mortimer hadn't planned on him winning and poisoned him. What? Oh, how vile. Gregory came on my approval. How dare Mortimer attack his own brother? He will pay for this. Whom do I have the honor of addressing? You are just a fool, a mere child. I have no time to waste with you. Sir, rest assured, I have no quarrel with you. With all due respect, would you mind telling me to whom I'm speaking, please? I would not like to make a blunder. I see you're trying to be civil. I accept your ignorance and agree to answer you. I am the father of all, founder of our house, 
grand architect of the laws that govern us, and creator of he you call Gregory Holm. At this moment, yes. As well as all of his brothers and sisters. Damn it. It's Holm and Mortimer's father. But why am I hearing you through Elizabeth Adams? So that is how you see me, is it? Here, everything is mere make-believe. Your mind is working to give me an appearance that will allow you to see me. Hmm. No, Louis, no. The longer you remain in his presence, the more danger you're in. Just get out of here. Wait. I have a proposal to make to you. I'm, I'm curious. William has to pay for what he did. He had no right. No one must ever attack a member of one's own family. That is the law. If you don't want to be involved in all this, let me enter your mind. When the time comes, I will just step in. You mean, like with Elizabeth? Elizabeth was not part of our family. She didn't get any choice. But you can't say it worked out well for her. What's to say that once inside, he won't stay there? If I ask my children to respect the rules, then I must do so as well. So, do you accept my proposal? Hmm. Very well. Sure. I accept. Technically, he's grandpa. <laughs> Technically, that was, that was his grandpa. Pursue your goal now. When the time comes, I will take care of William. Well, that was interesting. That, uh... That was a new little thing that I had not done yet. <laughs> creepy. Very creepy. If I do say so myself. Oh, ah, ah, my head! Oh, it hurts like hell! Oh, I hope I've made the right choice. Me too. Let's get the hell out of here. Children are gathered together? Yes? Yes. Okay. We gotta figure out which one of these and the first one. Who arrives at the same time as Emily? Which one was first? Um. Mm. And the cherry on the cake is I drank his cursed tea. in the wrong order. Um, let's see if I can, if 
find um, let's see I'm gonna look it up because I don't want to do these in the wrong order because I forgot and my brain hurts the council episode 5 because you know what Eh. I don't think he's coming. France, so much effort. So, so much effort. So much. So much effort lost. Hey, load phone. Load, please. For the love of everything. Okay. I had no idea where Von Volner needed to go. I was also... Hey, <laughs> cause this is thriller. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I am... Not finding shit is what I'm finding. Why? Why do they have to make it so difficult? No, I don't. I said episode five, you jackass. This is why I hate phones. Ah! I almost dropped my phone. I know, I know, I'm sorry. We have to have it paused for a little bit. Because my phone obviously doesn't want to do shit for me right now. Thank you. I feel so hopeful. Okay. Can you please help me, phone? Because God knows you haven't helped me yet. After the somatic, you will enter into a confrontation with the father to prove Louis's innocence. And then it doesn't show me... Wait, you jackasses. You know... I just... Okay. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Now, freaking load, please. I swear, my internet is like, hey, screw you! None of these images are loading. What is going on? No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my phone hates me. There. Jesus almighty, for the love of... Okay. I was right. That was not the first one. Okay. At the previous Follow conference three summit. years ago, I'm sure he already knew I would bring this. This is the, the first Hilbert. event that brought home here. Oh yeah, I'm on the right track. Okay. Second one is the one covered in red flowers. Well, that one's covered in red flowers too, but there's another one. It's not any of these things. No, we will not recall Spoticus. That's going too far back. <laughs> uh, it's not that one. This one. This one? Yes, this one. He allowed me to bring Emily to this conference. Supposedly to find her. I'm on the right track here. Okay. 
then go back all the way to this one. I just wanted to make sure I was right. You never know. If you do something wrong in this game, it has some horrible consequences. Like, I just, I just want to make sure that I'm right. And coincidentally, who arrives at the same time as Emily? I'm getting closer to him. Okay. Then I want the chessboard, and then the skull is the last one, I believe. I'll check the pictures here in a minute. I'm hurrying. I'm on it. I'm... The character is running as fast as he can, which is absolutely just horrible running. God, dude, you're jogging. Let's go. Like, seriously. Okay, chessboard, and then the skull over there at the end. And when Elizabeth... He cut me off from our father, and I didn't say a word. Yeah, and, and then the last one is the skull. Oh no, skull, and then... Oh, no, there's one after the skull. Gosh, see? See? I thought the skull was the last one. I can't what? I'm wrong, that. man. He feeds... Getting to the end here. That's interesting. But I can't look at it. Okay, anyways. And then the last one has a rag hanging. Well, it's definitely not Spartacus. <laughs> no. Okay, almost there. Uh, not that one. No, that was the other one. Oh, it's this one. I'd say a rag? But yeah, no. I drank his bloody tea. I drank his cursed tea. He trapped me. He poisoned me to stop me from being able to leave this body. He cut off all communication with father. He brought his children here. How could I not have seen it earlier? He's going to absorb me. The traitor! No one can stop him now. Hurry, Louis. I absolutely must see you before it's too late. If you have managed to follow my thoughts, come to me. Quickly! I'm coming, Uncle. I will save you. Dun dun dun. Oh, that's... It's been a while since I played this. I forgot about this part. That is creepy. This chapter seems to be a little shorter than the other ones, too. Giant chessboard Louis, with arms. Hurry, God, that's he's crazy. coming. What's happening? I can sense him. He's here. He's trying to get inside me, Louis. William has completely lost his mind. He's getting ready to pull out all the stops. He's going to devour my mind, Louis. I'm not going to be able to stop him. Louis, you are here. I sense your presence. What? But he can't even see me. Congratulations, my son. You have succeeded in joining us. <laughs> Louis, don't let him draw you in there. You are signing your death warrant if you decide to follow him. I won't be there to protect you. It's over, my son. We have won. A new order can be born. Louis, I'm so weak. I can feel him. Entering, I, I can no longer keep him out. He's, he's coming. You can still do something, Louis. Don't worry, son. Father? I am here. You 
can go oh. in peace. Father, I am sorry. Don't be. You've been infallible right to the end. I am That's proud all those years watching you grow into who you are today. But father, I almost... No. If your brother had not been so malicious, you would still be with us. I am here now. I am going to take care of him. <gasps> Count on me to... Hmm. Stop! All of you! Leave now! Okay. Asahal's spirit. Asahal. Oof, it's interesting. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh. Well, I guess that's the last one I haven't done. It's a shame I couldn't collect all the books. What have I done? That was interesting. You're screwed, man. Ah, Ooh. William. Calm down, Louis. How dare you? Louis? Your own brother. I... Father? Gregory should have never trusted you. I knew he shouldn't have come here. No, not now. It's pointless trying to run. I know exactly where he went. Louis. There's something I'd like to understand before we go any further. What is it that you'd oh. like to know? First, know that you are not responsible for your father's errors. However, you must answer for your own actions. Uh-oh. I better tell him what he wants to know. Tell me, Louis, what is your share of responsibility in all this? I fell into a trap. Look, I'm not the one responsible for this chaos. I decided to follow your son, Gregory. Hmm, that is true. When you got wind of William's plans about the conference, did you tell Gregory? Yes, of course. Yes. As soon as we left the conference room. Hmm, you were right to do so. So then, what did you do to thwart William? I stole the lance. When Sarah told me about the power of the lance of Longinus, I made every effort to find it in order to eliminate it. You could not have given a worse answer. We are almost done here. Louis. I mean, tell me, oh, in your opinion, oops. what should I do with William? <laughs> bury him alive. I think you should bury him alive. For an eternal being, I think that punishment would be fitting. Because according to the family rules, we're not allowed to kill a family member. I certainly agree with you on that point. He deserves no less. I see you have understood. I believe you have earned a place in our family. I cannot wait to introduce you to the others. But first of all, William must pay for everything he has done. Let's go, now. It's time hmm. to get this over and done I've been accepted into the family. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> I've been accepted. <laughs> William! Gregory should never have trusted you. I knew he shouldn't have come here. You evil little cockroach. No, father. Wait. It's over, my son. You've gone too far this time. Oh, father. By the way, I have a little surprise for you. Ah. Hmm? Now what have you done? Let me introduce you to my new servants. You know, I have studied our talents closely, and as you see, there. Do you are... really think that mutilating your servants so that they can't hear is going to save you? 
Well, I admit that was the idea. You are pathetic. On your knees. Ah, Interesting. I feel you. And today, your ego has always been your weakness, my son. You are your worst enemy. When will you understand that no lock is impenetrable? I... No! If you're the only one who can master them, all I need to do is master you. Stop! No! You gambled. You lost. Look, Louis. Look at him. You broke the most important of our family rules, William. The one that gives meaning to all the others. Thou shalt not kill. Never, ever kill a member of our family. What's going to happen to him? He will be buried alive. But don't worry about that. It is over. Everything that belonged to him <laughs> is yours now. And I am proud to welcome Interesting. you among us. Thank you. You deserve so wait, to join us, Louis. This mansion you have is mine great now? potential and many things to learn. Come, come to me. I'm coming. Interesting. And I have the Alazi. Von Vollmer tightened his political and spiritual grip on King Frederick William. On the death of the king in 1797, Johann retired with his wife to his country estate in order to continue his work on his theological and alchemical thesis. Hmm. Manuel Godoy's close relationship with Napoleon enabled him to claim a part of Portugal, as well as the protection of France upon the fall of the kingdom. He died in the company of his beloved mistress, Pepita, after recovering all his titles and properties. <laughs> Napoleon Bonaparte continued his political and military rise until his self-proclamation as emperor. His excessive ambition would cost the lives of 1,700,000 Frenchmen and leave France oh poorer God. and weaker than ever before. Deported and imprisoned by the British on St. Helena Island, he died on the 5th of May, 1821, <laughs> as an exile to general indifference. During <laughs> his second term, George Washington had to deal with a number of rebellions. He enraged public opinion by building close diplomatic links with Great Britain, which forced him to give up a third term in office. He retired to his country estate until his death, without being able to implement the annexation of the highly coveted Louisiana Territory. His eminence was obliged to justify himself on his return over the letter he had sent to His Holiness. His mental health was called into question and consequently he was withdrawn from papal state power. It was said in polite undertones that he had been sent to a faraway retreat, the better to hide his anonymous confinement in an asylum of Rome. Sarah de Richet stepped down from the Golden Order and undertook numerous excursions to Eurasia in search of her son. She reportedly lived out her last moments in a yurt on the way back from the Verkoyansk mountain range. She died ranting and raving about needing a new body. Mm. On his return to Paris, Peru resigned from his posting as judge at the revolutionary courts. He withdrew to the south of France with his daughter until his death. Nothing more was ever heard of Lord Mortimer. His sudden disappearance was a topic of conversation in the European courts, but only for a few months. Hmm. And Louis lived out the rest of his days in the mansion. Mwah. Actually, there are several alternate endings to this. Which I have played. This one was a little different because I didn't 
get possessed by Grandpa from the painting. I actually didn't even know that painting was there. I just went over there and checked. To be honest. Well then, that chapter was even shorter than the last one. But I hope everybody's looking forward to seeing some more Fable 3 stuff tomorrow night. Also, don't forget, Spyro is Friday. I'm excited. But anyways, as usual, thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to follow and subscribe to my YouTube that's in my Twitch for more fun, exciting videos. If you like this kind of stuff. <laughs> Um, don't forget to check out my Instagram with some beautiful artwork and stickers and fun stuff like that. Also, my... Ah, uh, let me think about this word for a second. <laughs> also, my logo Dino is for sale at my Etsy shop along with a lovely package of gamer dinos. Don't forget to check them out. And so follow and subscribe. Thank you so much. I love your faces. Have a wonderful night. And I will see you tomorrow night. Night night.